Hi everyone, Jennifer at Poor Behaviour Dog Training. I've decided this Christmas to give everyone some hints and tips on how to train dogs a little bit better. And one of the things that's really griped me this week, I've become a bit of a Grinch, is people are wanting to use pats and praise rather than use food to reinforce behaviour that they'd like to change. So we've got lots of problems with our dogs. They're doing wrong things, they're jumping on the kids, they're not coming back, they're biting, they won't settle down in the house. And it's so easy to fix these things if we learn how to use food to show the dog what we'd like rather than telling the dog off for what we don't want. Everybody, everything on the planet uh, changes behaviour through reinforcement. We all get money for work and if we didn't go to work and get money, which is reinforcement, we wouldn't go back to work. It's the same with our animals. If they don't get some sort of reward or reinforcement for behaviour, they won't keep doing it. So just be careful that you're not inadvertently reinforcing behavior you don't want but make sure you do reinforce behavior you do want so if your dog sits you can use a piece of its meal to say thank you I really like that sit if your dog settles down on the mat tell them you really like it and you're like likely to get more of the things that you reinforce using food from their meal so what I'm saying is rather than spending all of that food um, for free, giving it all to your dog for nothing in a bowl, morning, noon and night. Measure it out, put it on the bench and give it to your dog when they do something you really like. And chances are you'll change their behaviour so fast your head will spin. So that's my little Christmas tip for the moment and I'll probably have a few more coming up. But right now, please stop being mean with food. Be more generous and give it to the dog for behaviour that you want and you'll get more of it. Thanks a lot.